to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Prince is on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Super hook by Ruiz. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. We've talked about this time and time again. When you get these two mentalities squaring off against each other, it should be a brawl. Yeah, the old times would say about these guys, they get insulted if you miss them. Keep that head moving. A nice block by bad intentions. Off target with that hook. Prince is able to land a good, solid left hand. Unload! Halfway through round number goes. one. holding yeah. bad intentions is now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head not able to land the uppercut Ruiz is on the receiving end of a very good counterpunch. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joel, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Comes across with a hook up top. And that does it for this round. Prince is probably sitting back right now saying, hey, I got everything figured out. Coming off of a sensational round you just saw, he was able to do some serious damage to his opponent. Yeah, you know what really did it was that left hook to the liver, that body shot. You know, that's like going into a restaurant, you get a stain on your jacket, you know, and the stain just doesn't come out. <laughs> you know, you go to your cleaners, it's still there. Those body shots, they don't come out. They stay with you round after round, and they keep doing damage. They keep paying off for you. He's got the benefit of that body work going for him. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. defensive skill with the block by Ruiz. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Prince. <laughs> nice block by Prince. Back to the Bad intentions is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Half 
halfway through round number two. A well-placed left hand up top. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Prince's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Scores up top with a left. Ruiz's punches just don't look like what they... Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden... All of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside, and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt, and now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. Prince is not putting forth much offense at all. Now, listen, I get it. You put forth some offense, you got hurt, you were stunned in this fight, so now you're strictly thinking defense. But at some point, he's got to change. Yeah, he does. Otherwise, he can't win this fight. And his opponent is just going to keep coming, coming like that ocean, banging into that shore, and it's going to come further up the shoreline. It's not going to go away. To the head he goes with a left hand. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. That's a solid right hand by Prince. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Good looking jab there. Both these guys obviously hopeful that their cut men will be up to the task tonight. What does it take to be a great cut man? And you know, that's a great question. First of all, you better have the right coagulants, the right chemicals, the right medications in that corner. Avatine, adrenaline, and you have to have Vaseline where you can put it on it. But the most important thing, you have to be calm. You can't panic. And you have to put pressure on that cut, just the right amount of pressure. And you put those medicines in it, and then you better have a fighter that can give you a round or two. He can move around and not get caught right away. Give the medicine a chance to work. Good block by bad intentions. Prince is left, landing well. Nothing there on the punch by bad intentions. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Just like that, just like that. One, two. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Now let's go. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Bad Intentions is out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. A 
Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Good work defensively by Prince. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Able to dismiss that body shot. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout nice. by bad intentions. Uppercut! Uppercut! Ruiz is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? No, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Come on. Back to the body. Halfway through round number four. Move your head. Oh, what a left hand. He is swinging away, even though he's in bad, bad shape. And he's going to leave himself even more open by swinging. He'd be better off getting those hands up and trying to weather this storm defensively. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Jump on him. Nice. He's targeting upstairs. <laughs> Able to cover up that gut. That's it, just like that. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the fourth. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Keep doing what you're doing. Work the body. Oh, did you see that? Great right hand by Prince. And just like that, he's able to turn things around. Remember, he was stunned. Now he's in control. Hey, remember, when you have that eraser, that power, you can suddenly get rid of a lot of mistakes. Halfway into round number five here. Well off the mark by Ruiz. You got this one! Just missed that shot up top. Bad attention. Prince is in bad shape. 
Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. to the end of round number the last 10 seconds. Keep doing what you're doing. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Prince's up. corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he oh, does, I think up, it's over. Up. Unable to land clean by bad intentions. Get in there. Head and body. Head and body. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Looking good. On the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. Protecting his head well with his guard. Prince has got to be moving more than this, Teddy. I mean, you cannot win a fight just standing stationary like this. Well, you know, if his opponent could have, he would have gotten him to sign a contract and say, hey, I want you to stand right in front of me all night long so I can do whatever I want. And he's doing whatever he wants. Halfway through round six. And he just holds on there. Good exchange. He fires back. There you go. Now hugging on the inside. Relax, relax. Good work in the jam. Good, good. Keep moving, keep moving. Nice, nice. Good job, buddy. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Good block by Ruiz. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Bad Intentions is in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't like in football going to that three-fent defense. Nice. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. A good block. You got this one. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Punch, 
punch! has been able to let loose he's throwing punches he's just not landing enough of them well he's throwing them from a little too far away he's not getting into that punching chamber he's starting to launch him just a little too soon and his opponent is warm looking good with that headshot. Good looking right hand after he got hit. This is what they worked on in training camp. Another good combo by bad intentions. Seconds to go in the seventh. And that's the end of round seven. Looking good. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? It's over. your hands, all right? You have to keep your hands up. You're doing fine. He's just beating you to punch, that's all. You need to throw more. If you're not punching, he is. Seven rounds complete. Teddy's scorecard does have it clearly in one direction. Ruiz has earned that lead on the scorecard, but his opponent has also done some damage. Yeah, it hasn't been exactly a picnic. I mean, it started off that way, but the ants are coming. They're starting to get over things a little bit here. It's getting a little hairy. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. seconds to go halfway through round eight he tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect bad intentions nice his nice knowledge work. of the game is showing through three ways to defend one of them is to block he did it there well Ruiz is really impressing us here, defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit.
Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. <laughs> He's tight. He's tight. Get over. Get over. Ten clicks of the talk. Keep pushing. Ruiz is dominating this fight every which way, just punishing his opponent, and his opponent has the face to show that result. Well, that's because all the punches that are being thrown, they're accurate punches, and they're all being thrown with bad intentions. Prince's punch didn't come close. Good smooth work by Ruiz. That's classic counter-punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled nice. that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back. Oh, that's a big right shot with the left hand. Stay with him! Stay with him! Right to the body. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Back to the body. Yeah, he did. Oh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. Jump on him. Nice. Sound defense. Good block that time by Prince. That's it. Come on. Halfway through the ninth round. That's See, the defense it. pays That's off it. as he gets rid of that downstairs. You're not Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. You got this one. One, two, one, two. left hand after getting tagged himself. Come on, get focused. Looking good. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. So another round comes to an end that, Teddy, when you put pen to paper, you're putting down the very same way. He's up by a lot here. Yeah, he is up by a lot. And the good news for him is he's up by a lot in his kind of fight. You know, it's going to pace, the kind of pace he wants and in the dimensions that he wants. Nice defense. Good block by bad intentions. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Keep working a butt. That's what I want to see. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Half 
halfway through round 10. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. Move your head. Off the target by Ruiz. Now he ties up there. to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. That was a fine block by Prince. And that's the end of round 10. Start of round number 11, Teddy's scorecard. Ruiz has got a huge lead as we come down to the stretch run of this fight. The only way he can lose this fight is if he makes a mistake, not just a conventional one that most people would think. Where he gets a little greedy, does too much. But if he stops punching, if he goes too defensive, maybe the opponent gets an opportunity. Bad Intentions is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Prince has got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition Hello. their fight is in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. Fires right back at him. seconds to go in this 11th round. Work. Keep those hands up. Oh, you're doing great. Let's see some more head movement. to land the headshot. Yeah, Ruiz's one. defense clearly carrying things right now for him. But what else should he be conscious of beyond just this good footwork we're seeing? Well, the old times would say, hey, you're doing the hard part. You're making a miss. Do the fun part. Make sure he pays. One, two, watch that. You see him holding on. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Seconds remaining in this round. Yeah. 
Hard to see it any other way as this fight continues. Yet another round where he's been dominant. Well, you could see that he's just got a great flow going. I mean, he's controlling the tempo all night long. Just keep it going. And he returns on that exchange. Nice work, nice work. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Double up on your punches. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. He's tired. He's tired. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And a nice combo by Prince. Blocks that punch. Halfway through this 12th and final round. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Final minute of this final round of this fight. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Prince's blocking ability is doing well for him there. What a shot. Big hook comes in. Hold on to him. Missed the body shot. Final bell of what was a one-sided outing. Well, this one is easy to score. At least it should be. Let's hear how the judges had it. We send it up to the ring. dominating performance gets the payoff with the decision a unanimous decision Teddy your scorecard reflects that as well it was an easy one to score I mean he did it fundamentally well it wasn't just with talent he did it with the jab he did it with controlling range going to the body great night that does it from ringside for Teddy Atlas I'm Joe Tessitore thanks for being with us